हेलो एवरी वन होप सोल ऑफ योर फाइन एंड वेलकम टू माई चैनल टूडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट एक्टिव साइकिल ऑफ ब्रीदिंग टेक्निक्स ए सी बी टी एक्टिव साइकिल ऑफ ब्रीदिंग टेक्निक इज यूज टू मोबिलाइज एंड क्लियर एक्सेस ब्रोंकियल सक्रीशंस इट इज ऑल्सो इफेक्टिव इन क्लियरेंस ऑफ ब्रोंकियल सक्रीशंस एक्टिव साइकिल ऑफ ब्रीदिंग टेक्निक इम्प्रूव लंग फंक्शन इट नादर कोजिज नोर इंक्रीज हाइपोक्जीमिया नोर इंक्रीज एयर फ्लो ऑबस्ट्रक्शन हाइपोक्जीमिया इज लो ऑक्सीजन लेवल इन योर ब्लड इट इज़ अ फ्लेक्सीबल मैथड ऑफ ट्रीटमेंट विच कैन बी अडेप्टेड फॉर यूज इन एनी पेशेंट यंग और ओल्ड मेडिकल और सर्जिकल वेयर देर इज प्रॉब्लम ऑफ एक्सेस ब्रोंकियल सक्रीशन इट कैन बी यूज विद एंड विदाउट एन असिस्टेंस it is a cycle of breathing control thoracic expansion exercises and forced expiration technique now we will discuss about breathing control and uh, breathing control thoracic expansion exercises and forced expiration technique one by one first of all we will discuss about breathing control breathing control reduce breathlessness it is also called as diaphragmatic breathing in breathing control we ask patient to put hand on your abdomen and when he inspire the hand should be felt to rise up and out and when he expire the hand sinks down and in next one is thoracic expansion exercises deep breathing exercises emphasizing inspiration In thoracic expansion exercises we ask patient to actively inspire and passively expire inspiration is done deeply normally expiration is passive but we have to apply force to do inspiration ask patient for active inspiration and passive expiration also ask patient to put hands on your ribs during inspiration ribs should move outwards and on expiration ribs should move inwards sniff maneuver sniff maneuver is used to achieve additional increase in lung volume at the end of deep inspiration we ask the patient to sniff at the end of deep inspiration to increase the lung volume thoracic expansion exercises may also be combined with chest shaking vibrations or chest clapping these techniques may further assist in clearance of secretions last one is forced expiration technique forced expiration technique includes cuff and huff cuff is of high intensity and huff is of low in intensity huff means to forcefully expire the air out is called as huff cuff if we wanted to remove mucus from lower airways then cuff is done and if we wanted to remove mucus from upper airways then huff is done Huff is more effective and less tiring than cuff, and also less energy consuming than cuff. In cuff, patients more energy is required, and energy level of the patient can be down. Now, how we can perform huff in children? Because children cannot follow our instructions, that why we we ask them to blow balloons or uh, play blowing games. so that half can be done in children but in adults half is done by these techniques because adults can follow our instructions also remember follow one thing either half or cuff during forced expiration technique both half and cuff combined cannot be performed now this is the cycle of the active cycle of breathing technique there is breathing control then thoracic expansion exercises and breathing control then forced expiration technique which includes one half and breathing control actually this is a simple cycle which we are using for severe patients as uh, in severe patients we start from simple cycle and as soon as the patient is able to master the simple cycle we will move towards complex one and then further complex one and the only difference in these cycles is that in the simple one it contains only one half in next step or in next complex one it contains two halves and in the more complex cycle it contains three halves That was all about our today's lecture about active cycle of breathing technique.